Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Becker Avionics puts ADSB to new uses, Transportation Trades Department officers re-elected, and experimental aircraft ADSB installation does not have to be TSO'd. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm Ashley Hale. Becker Avionics International has introduced a new ADSB-based tracking and surveillance system for flight and ground operations. The system is called ATLAS, short for ADSB Traffic Localization and Surveillance System. ATLAS is a state-of-the-art standalone ADSB traffic monitoring system that provides a recognized air and ground situational awareness picture. The situation awareness capability provided by ATLAS provides unique surface applications that can apply to specialized operations that combine air and ground coordination. This new and unique solution concept will be on display at the Becker Avionics booth during Heli Expo in Orlando, Florida, March 3rd through the 5th, and during the World ATM Congress in Madrid, Spain, March 10th through the 12th. The National Air Traffic Controllers Association, a member affiliate of the Transportation Trades Department, offered congratulations to TTD President Ed Whitkin and Secretary Treasurer Larry Willis on being re-elected to their respective positions during TTD's 25th Anniversary Convention and Executive Committee meeting. TTD represents 32 transportation unions in all sectors of transportation to provide a unified voice on many labor transportation issues. NATCA President Paul Rinaldi said in part, quote, Ed and Larry are strong, passionate leaders and great supporters of our nation's transportation workers, including NATCA's represented aviation safety professionals, end quote. The TTD works with the unions, including the NATCA, to protect the jobs and rights of aviation workers in flight crew positions and numerous other ground-based jobs. After the break, we have good news for experimental aircraft owners regarding ADSB installations. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing and crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro standby instrument, TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. If you'd like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. The EAA reports that at an EQUIP 2020 meeting involving the FAA, aviation groups, and industry officials last week in Washington, D.C., the agency restated their intent to ensure that the year 2020 mandate for ADSB out installation would allow experimental category aircraft to install non-TSO equipment that meets TSO performance specifications. While the 2020 ADSB mandate applies to all aircraft that will operate within airspace that requires an altitude encoding transponder, there are unique provisions and opportunities within the amateur built regulations that may allow owners of experimental aircraft to meet the requirements with greater flexibility and potentially lower cost. This could mean, for instance, the ability for the owner of an experimental aircraft to individually install certified ADSB systems 
or seek out non-certified ADSB systems that meet the mandate's performance standards. Every Tuesday, we look ahead at some of the most interesting events in the aviation universe. Here's this week's Aero Calendar. If the cold weather's got you down, there's more going on than just fly-ins and air shows. On February 28th, the Soaring Society of America holds their annual membership meeting and awards banquet at the Hilton Hotel in Greenville, South Carolina. Check the SSA website for more information. March 2nd through the 5th marks the Helicopter Association International's annual convention at the Orange County Convention Center in Orlando, Florida. This event is filled with manufacturer's displays and numerous educational forums. On March 5th through the 7th, the Hilton Anatole in Dallas, Texas hosts the 26th Annual International Women in Aviation Conference. Since 1990, Women in Aviation International has been connecting, engaging, and inspiring women at all levels of aviation expertise. The odds are good you'll find warm weather in Honolulu, Hawaii on March 7th at the Pacific Aviation Museum when they hold their Discover Your Future in Aviation Day. This is the sixth year that this program has introduced young people to aviation. After these messages, the UAS NPRM is published and you have until April 24th to comment. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we've decided to summarize some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The notice of proposed rulemaking has been issued regarding the operation of small unmanned aircraft systems in the national airspace system. This rulemaking will affect eight parts of aviation regulations and comments must be made on or before April 24th. Textron Aviation's company-owned service centers in Sacramento, California, Mesa, Arizona, and Paris, France have gained certification for Beechcraft King Air 90, 200, and 300 series aircraft service and repair. This move is made to expand their global customer base. Another major air show has been scuttled because of a lack of financial support. The Land, Sea, and Air Festival in Durban, South Africa has been canceled after government funding was pulled and private funding could not pull the load. The 100th Pilatus PC-21 turboprop training plane rolled off the Pilatus aircraft assembly line last week. This particular airplane is destined for the Royal Saudi Air Force training fleet. Pilatus trainers are used by numerous countries to train military pilots. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's move on to the rest of the news. The FAA says that Seeker Aircraft America has successfully completed all validation requirements for its Seeker SB7L360A and the increased horsepower A2 model aircraft. The validation flights enable FAA Part 23 normal category certification in the United States. In this category, it is eligible for both non-commercial and commercial operation. The Seeker is a versatile, purpose-built, light observation aircraft that was specifically designed and developed for observation and surveillance missions. It provides a low-cost solution for missions requiring short takeoff and landing capabilities, easy in-field maintenance, and unobstructed cockpit visibility. 
Seekers are currently flying missions in Australia, the United States, the Middle East, and Africa. Well, that's our program for Tuesday, February 24th. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday. And please join us along with a growing roster of over 100 industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news. I'm Ashley Hale. Thanks for watching.